guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you a makeup look that I wore earlier this week what day was it it was on Wednesday oh sorry by the time you're watching this video I wore this look last week on Wednesday and I went on an Instagram live video just for a few minutes and so many of you asked me to recreate this look and especially one friend I met on Instagram was cyber friends and she really wanted me to create this look for her and so here it is it's very simple I was hugely inspired by Kim K Kim Kardashian's makeup recently and it's just very very simple basic but I think it looks really nice and it works I've also used just about one or two products to create uh, this look and if you want to see how I achieved that look then please continue watching I already have my moisturizer on guys and nothing else and I I'm using Max Prep and Prime Essential Oils, this one right here, and I'm just going to uh, put a little bit oh, with this Doppler and use my hands to kind of rub that in. It's just an oil, but I feel like it really helps the skin and kind of gives you that additional glow as well. Okay guys, so that is the application of that oil and then I am first going in with my Pro Orange Concealer by MAC and I always use my fingers for this, you guys know that. So I will just put it under my eye where I have this dark circles or kind of pigmentation and I think I should get you guys closer, hang on. I know it looks scary right now, right? But this stuff corrects really well, especially for me. You can even use an orange lipstick guys or a red one. So that's that for that. And then I go in with foundation. Now Kim Kardashian's skin looks very dewy and uh, very skin like. It looks glowy and very healthy. I have decided to use my favorite Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This one here and I'm using the shade 6.25. So I'm going to take a few pumps of that on my hands and I just like to press this in with a beauty blender and again Ellie has bitten off this one but it works. So I'm just going to go in with foundation. And I like to take it down my neckline there and I'm just pressing this on hey guys I don't know when my neighbor will finish building but I cannot stop filming because of that and I like to go in the hairline as well and this is a very fast makeup look actually guys it doesn't take much effort at all I created this in 15 minutes literally when I did so it's it's very fast I also like to tap the remaining of the foundation on my eyelids like that as you can see it's not too heavy it's not full coverage as such but it works and then next I go in with a concealer under my eyes and uh, I don't have Kim Kardashian's makeup products yet uh, but I'm just recreating this look with the products that I have and which I think work and guys I also ordered Fenty oh my god Fenty by Rihanna especially trophy wife and the foundation uh, I will be sharing a makeup look and my views or reviews on those as soon as I get them so for concealer I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger first like that just under my eye and I'm going to layer another one on top of this I'm also using this down the bridge of my nose a little bit on the here what is this the outside of my lips and a little bit on the forehead like that after that I am going in with my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer in the color Light Neutral and this is a bit too light that's why I'm mixing the two and I'm putting this over this NARS Ginger like that because I just want the under eye to be really really 
bright. Like that. I'm going to blend all of this with a beauty blender. This one right here and just pressing that product really well inside or under the eye. And I really like the combination of these two concealers because it's, it just kind of matches my skin tone and it ends up looking the way I really want it to look. I'm also traveling guys this week and I will probably film a vlog for you guys and um, yeah let me know what other kind of videos you guys would like to see I do have another makeup look I'd like to share with you guys on the what was it it's the Jaclyn Hill palette a collaboration with Morphe I have it right here I have a lot of other palettes by Juvia's Place and I just have to find the time to do that for you guys so that's that for concealer I'm going to quickly set this with my Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder I'm just taking it on the same beauty blender I'm gonna leave that there actually for now not too much I'm just gonna leave that there next I'm going to go in with this contour stick by Diane Candle is it yes uh, max contour stick this one and we are going to contour so I'm just going to take this like that I don't have a very large forehead so just a little bit like that but she does so she kind of brings it lower and I'm just gonna take it like that and all around actually so just like creating a number three I'm also going to okay this stuff is a bit pigmented I'm also going to take it on my nose like that and this looks funny I know and then I'm going to go ahead and blend all of this with my beauty blender I normally use a brush but today I'm going to use a beauty blender and that guy outside ah sorry guys just bear with me and I'm just going to press this in like that And then for my nose, I'm just going to take a, a brush like this by Sigma and blend. This contour and I'm also taking it inward. Whatever's left, I'm taking that inward. So once that's on guys, I'm going to go in with a stippling brush, this one here by MAC and just kind of blend all the edges or everything together. Just so that if I've missed it and there are any harsh lines, we don't want that. And now I am going to go over the contour with a powder contour with my ABH palette right here, the contour kit. And I am going to use a blush brush for this. This one right here, the Max, what is this? I don't even know the number, it's this one here. And I will take this shade right here at the end, this one right here, and just go over this contour quite. I'm just gonna go over this contour just slightly. I learned is that not to pull it down too much and blend it upward like that if I feel that sometimes it's too much then I will take this beauty blender and just blend again but I think this looks perfect so I am going to just take this powder off under my eye like that and I shall begin with the eyes okay 
So going in with the same ABH palette, Kim Kardashian also wears a lot of bronzer on her eyes and I love that, I do that too. So I'm just going to take a blending brush like this from Morphe and I'm going to take that same shade and I'm just going to apply that contour shade on my eyelids like that. I hope you can see better now and that is what it just looks like, just pretty simple brown warm tones on the eyelids and it looks really nice I like that for the lower lash line guys I take the same color again from the contour palette uh, the dark and the light I mix them both and then I just put that on my lower lash line like that and I go into the darker one a bit more because I like the lower lash line to be a little bit darker and to line my waterline guys I'm using this Sephora's pencil I don't know what it's called it's a 4Y one I don't know it's just a cold pencil in the champagne color and I just use this to line my waterline I am such a black cold pencil girl so this is very different for me but I like it it opens up my eyes so much and almost makes it look like a doll to be honest so next up I'm using my mascara right here my favorite really worry if it's a bit clumpy because I like that look the clumpy mascara look I think it's really sexy so that's that for mascara guys and then I set my face first with this one my favorite Rimmel setting powder no it's a stay matte uh, powder by Rimmel and I set the foundation that was there And now what's left to do is highlight the face and the lips and the brows. So we'll start with brows first, guys. And I'm using my favorite as usual, ABH, the Deep Brow Pomade. Mine is dark brown. And I've gotten better at doing brows. I even got compliments. And I was the worst, guys, at doing brows, like literally. Uh, but I'm a fast learner. I'm just taking a bit of that Deep Brow Pomade right there on this brush like this this is by I don't know Sephora and there's no certain way I do my brows every day I do them differently but I like to just fill them in first I'm not a makeup artist so don't judge so I'm just going to take this and line under my brow first just to give it some shape and I'm not changing the shape I'm keeping the shape the same and I'll do the same a little bit on the top but I feel like I need to fill in a little bit more and I will just fill that in like that take it lower a bit like that and when I come to the front part of the brow I don't use any more product and I just kind of flip my brush like that straight and then I will just uh, comb kind of or create the hairs as they are going naturally here and what I do is I take this end of the brush and I comb through the front mainly so that it looks natural and I leave the rest of the brow quite dark So I'll comb through a little bit just to give it that natural look but on the front I like to kind of blend it out more. A couple of you were asking me on my last video whether I wear heels every day. I don't guys. I'd be lying if I told you I do. I don't. I cannot. I can't. If I was working in an office, yes. But because I work from home, I don't. And if I'm going out for any meeting or such thing, um, yes. 
and I wear them on the weekends mostly because on the weekends I and Ali are always out. I'm going to clean this one up a little bit uh, with some concealer. We're using Max NC30 concealer like this one here, and I'm using this brush by Sephora, just an angled brush. Take a little bit on it, and then because I kind of messed up a little bit right there and since I'm cleaning it up I'd rather just do them both but I don't always clean up the brows I just leave it this this is an urban decay brush that I've been loving so much for the brows for under the brows to clean this up and I just press the concealer in like that I'll go ahead and take this uh, Rimmel powder and just set that concealer so for the lips I just use a my favorite uh, lip pencil, this one, Max Trip Down, and I just like to uh, line my lips. And I do overline on the sides just a bit because I have quite tiny lips. So on the sides just to give me that fuller look. Then I just go and use the same lip pencil and rub it all over. For the lip color, I actually just use the contour stick again, this end of it, and I dab a little bit onto my lips. Like that, and then I use my finger. And it gives you this gorgeous chocolate shade. Finally, I use my favorite MAC Peat Stock lipstick right here. It's a nude like that, and then I use this for the center. And I again just pat it or dab it. So that's really that for this makeup look, guys. And then I finish this look with lashes. I'm using my favorite right now, the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. And I am not using any blusher for this look. If you want to, you can, uh, just for showing purposes. This is Max Gingerly. I really like it. Uh, you can do. So let's just put on some. Um, very little. Like that. And then we shall highlight the face. But before I do that, I want to pop on these lashes. I'm going to pop. Oh, those on. So guys, the lashes are now on. This is the look, but we cannot live without highlighter, so that's what we shall do. And I am taking my favorite, the Dior Luminizer, and I shall now finish this look with highlighting down the bridge of my nose here, over my lip, on the side, the highs of my cheeks, the high, what, the high points, a little bit over the brow, and then again on this side of the cheek, and uh, I also I'd like to highlight my collarbones right here and my arms right here but I'm not wearing anything sleeveless right now but that is the full look guys this is my complete Kim Kardashian inspired look or actually just a look you can wear every day without the lashes if you don't want to but it's so simple basically just one foundation one contour kit palette for the whole face eyeshadow everything and a contour stick for your lipstick and Really, it's a very, very simple look. I really hope you enjoyed this video and this whole makeup look is pretty simple. I hope you will try it as well and that you liked it as much as I do. If you like this video, then do not forget to give it a thumbs up at the bottom below and also press the bell button to be notified every time I post a video, which is at least twice a week and what else. Do not forget to subscribe. I am traveling this week, but there will be a video up this Thursday, so look out for that. And that video is very special to me. You guys have also requested it so much, so do keep an eye out for that. 
and what else yeah i will try to get a video up to you guys the following monday uh i won't be back yet but i will try my best and until i see you in the next one guys lots of love and light